Defined Benefit versus Defined Contribution Plans A Deep Dive for the Retirement-Minded Employee Let's get down to brass tacks on retirement plans, shall we? The difference between defined benefit and defined contribution plans is like comparing an old-school pension to your modern 401, K. They're two different beasts in the jungle of financial planning. Defined Benefit Plans The Old Reliable Picture This, it's a bygone era. You work for a company for 30-odd years, and when you retire, they promise you a certain amount every month. This is the essence of the defined benefit plan. It's a guarantee of income post-retirement, based on your salary and years of service. They calculate your golden year's income with a formula that usually factors in your final salary and the number of years you've been on the job. Once retired, you kick back, and the checks roll in until you're pushing up the daisies. It's corporate loyalty at its pensioned best. The company bears the investment risk. If the market dives, they still owe you your due. Pros. Predictable income stream you can't outlive. Employer managed. Less hassle for you. Potentially more generous depending on salary and tenure cons. Less portable in an era of job hopping. If the company falls on hard times, your pension could be at risk. Less control over investments. Defined contribution plans. Modern day money management. Fast forward to today. And defined contribution plans like a 401, K, or an IRA are all the rage. Here, you're in the driver's seat. You define how much you contribute within limits, and you pick your investments. There's no promised land of exact retirement benefits. Your nest egg depends on market performance and your own dedication to saving. If you're savvy or lucky, you can retire well. But if the market tanks, your dream of sipping mojitos on a beach might be more tap water in the backyard. Pros. You control the contributions and investment choices. Portability. This nest egg goes wherever you go. Potential for high returns if the market smiles on you. Cons. Investment risk is all yours. Retirement income isn't predictable. Requires active management, which not everyone is into. Why would one choose one over another? It might come down to temperament, career stability, and how much one likes to play the markets. If you enjoy stability and predictability, and let's be honest, who doesn't like a sure thing? A defined benefit plan can be pretty sweet. It's retirement planning on autopilot. But if you fancy yourself a bit of a stock market aficionado, or you've got a wandering eye for jumping between jobs, you might opt for a defined contribution plan. These plans have risen in popularity as workforce mobility has increased. It makes sense why they're the go-to for many. Of course, in my home base of Portland, Oregon, where life can be as unpredictable as our rain showers, having control over my retirement funds in a defined contribution plan might just be as crucial as having a good raincoat. In the end, Choosing between the two types of plans often reflects a choice between predictable support and the freedom to blaze your own trail to retirement. Both have their merits and drawbacks. Weigh them against your lifestyle and financial temperament to find the path that suits you best. And remember, it's never too early or too late to plan for retirement. Just like it's never too late to enjoy a good cup of Portland's finest coffee while contemplating your financial future.